This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 UTG 4000 ultrasonic thickness gauge. The UTG 4000 is designed to test thickness of metallic and non-metallic materials as long as they have parallel top and bottom surfaces and sound waves can travel through the material. This model also has a through coating function which allows for tests on painted and coated surfaces. Live A scan and B scan provide the highest level of functionality in thickness gauging today. The technology incorporated utilizes a simple ultrasonic dual element transducer that transmits and receives sound waves. Generally, Velocity of sound through the material to be tested is a known value and is supplied via chart in the operation manual. In the case of the UTG 4000, we have preset the unit velocity to read in steel, which matches the material of the built-in test block. You always have the option to manually preset the velocity of any material. Each gauge is supplied with a 5 MHz dual sensor probe, bottle of coupling gel, two AA batteries, a USB stick with software and the manual, NIST calibration certificate, and a carry case. Now let's move over to operation of the UTG 4000 and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. To begin, insert the plugs of the transducer into either of the plugs in the gauge. Press the power button middle right to bring up the interface screen. You can power down the unit by pressing the same button. P1, P2, and P3 operate the function shown on the screen just above the button. The mode key, middle left, allows the user to toggle through settings and parameters for testing. This brings up the main menu screen. The arrow keys allow the user to scroll through the different settings and menu options. The middle right button is also the calibration button. The UTG 4000 has three methods for calibration to choose from. A single point calibration, which allows you to calibrate directly to a specific material. A two-point calibration, which allows you to calibrate to a specific material within a specific thickness range. And an echo-to-echo -echo mode, which allows you to calibrate the velocity value based on a known thickness. The UTG 4000 offers selectable resolution. Open the menu, scroll down to resolution, and press the P1 button to enter this parameter. Using the arrow buttons, scroll down to the desired resolution which can be an inch or metric, depending upon the setting that you have already pre-done. The metric units can be set at 0.1 millimeter or 0.01 millimeter, while the inch settings can be set at 0.01 inches or 0.001 inches, respectively. The UTG 4000 has three different display modes to choose from. Normal mode, this is used to obtain a thickness value of material being tested. In this mode, the interface will show the thickness of the material, sound velocity, and the unit. The A-scan mode, this interface allows you to see the present thickness value and the A-scan waveform at the same time. The right side of the interface is the specification adjusting area, which can be adjusted for a more precise result. B-scan mode is a time-based B-scan function. By moving the probe across the surface of a workpiece, you can obtain a cross-sectional profile of your part. This allows for viewing the contour of your part. When you remove the probe from the workpiece, the gauge can obtain the minimum value of the B-scan image and indicate that position with a red arrow. Taking tests is very easy. After making sure your measuring parameters are set correctly, inch and metric and velocity of the material, place a small amount of gel on your workpiece, and then follow with the probe on the workpiece. Readings will show on the screen. Be certain not to use too much gel. Use just enough to remove air from between the probe and the test material. 
Testing in through coat mode, the UTG 4000 can accurately measure the actual material below the coating utilizing the dual echo measurement principle. This feature allows you to measure the material without having to destroy or remove the protective coating of a surface. Press M to go into the parameter interface and set measurement mode to dual echo. In the A-Scan interface, press the P3 button to highlight the value to be adjusted. Then press the direction keys to adjust the values. Up and down keys are used for small increments, while the left and right are used for larger increments. The gain adjusts the sensitivity of the gauge with the unit decibel. The larger the gain is, the higher the sensitivity is. The gain ranges from 8 to 55 decibels. Some helpful hints. When testing flat parts, the gain should be low. Aluminum and cast aluminum should also use low gain. Steel, stainless steel should be in the middle. Cast iron pipe should use maximum gain. When in echo to echo mode, the red arrow on the screen should point to the first wave. The blue arrow should point to the second wave. This tells you that you have the gain set correctly. In standard mode, only the red arrow will show. Blanking hides the unnecessary and useless clutter in front of the main waves. Incorrect readings can be caused by material issues such as corrosion, internal material defects, or even a specific material such as aluminum. Only adjustments in the gain can solve part of the problem. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 UTG 4000 ultrasonic thickness gauge. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.